can see out the windows now, it's the most ancient bit of all Britain. Oh yes, I see. Yeah. Flying saucers come here. These hills are so full of power, they come to refuel. Can you feel the power? Well, no, no, to be honest, I can't, no. Can't you feel anything? Well, it's a current bridge, yes, a matter of fact. I think I'm sitting on something. It's a date stamp. <laughs> I've just stamped my trousers overdue. <laughs> it might be the other bit, to be honest. Well, that is where the ancient Druids used to cast their runes. Oh, very painful. Sorry, sorry. That's trillions of years old, that stuff. What does that say to you? Baz loves Tracy. <laughs> no, no. Power! The old religion, Earth's magic, witchcraft. You, you've got no soul. I do have a soul, Reg. I think it's a lovely stone. But we've got to be at Tillenhurst by 11 o'clock. Long after Tillenhurst Prison and the mobile library service have crumbled into dust, that stone will still be stood there brooding. Have you ever had the feeling, Timothy, that something huge and brooding is watching you? <laughs> what, you mean like Mother or something like that? <laughs> What did I say? What? Dead as a doornail. We're in a place with more power than us. The forces have captured this vehicle. Either that your battery's flat. <laughs> or even more likely, you were meant to be here. Well, I am here. And as soon as you've found a phone box, I won't be. <laughs> oh, I'm not going out there. It's only a road, Reg. Yeah, there won't be a phone. There was a phone box back at the crossroads. There's men walk to these roads and come back jabbering. It's well known. Oh, come on, Reg. Father used to walk up and down this road. Come to think of it, he does jabber you, right? Bob's Hollow, Robin's Land, Dead Woman's Cross. Pook's <laughs> Corner, that's not so, uh, it's more sort of, uh, more cosy, isn't it? Pook's Corner. Why, it's dark out there. What's your sign, then? Horus. They're cows, aren't they? <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> you will receive a letter with some exciting news. Oh, that will be the first time she's been excited since 1957. <laughs> Go on, take the mickey, I don't care. <laughs> Here, what about Aries? A tall, dark stranger will enter your life. Oh. <laughs> That's quick. <laughs> well, he's dark. <laughs> One out of two isn't bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've been, I've been done something funny, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if he's Leo. Pardon? Are you Leo? Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, Lumsden, Timothy Lumsden. <laughs> I'm, I'm a librarian. My library's broken down across the road, you see. I was wondering, have you got a, have you got a telephone in here at all? Here, what star sign are you? Taurus, why? You're gonna get a letter with exciting news. Good heavens, am I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Black cat. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Want some soup? Uh, no, thank you. No, I'm uh, a bit of a vegetarian on Thursday, so... <laughs> oh. Well, have an apple. Oh, thank you. Are you, uh... Are you, are you druids or something? Are you, are you some sort of local group? Foretelling the future and things, or? Oh, Wynn reads palms. Yeah, Wynn does. I'll give over. Can you, can you? 
I don't know a lot about it myself. I know that that's where you tell the number of children you're going to have, you know, 13 in my case. <laughs> And a green fly. Oh, yeah. Go on, so, go, come on, come you on. You tell him. Go on. Very nice. Yeah. Very clean. You will gain your heart's desire. Will I? Will I? What will be my heart's desire? You'll know when you get it. Oh. <laughs> will, there, will there be a sign? A sign? Well, some sort of, you know, tiny indication, you know. I'd hate to miss it when it comes. <laughs> and the sign will be... The LS. What? Three letters. T. L. S. T. L. S. <laughs> Ten little centipods. <laughs> Truly large socks. <laughs> Thoroughly lousy sausages. <laughs> I know all about them. Mother gives me them every week. <laughs> Can you tell if there's a telephone anywhere around from my hand? Can you see anything? No. no, I don't see one. Perhaps you could release the van then, could you? Well, what's wrong with it? Well, you just turn the key, you know, and nothing happens, you know. Ah, oh, well, that would be the damn. All you've got to do is tighten up the battery terminals and give them a grease. Oh. Any particular kind of grease? You know what? Bats grease. <laughs> Collected on the moonlight by a man with six fingers. <laughs> just grease. Oh, oh well. well, thank you. I expect you've got quite a bit to be getting on with. <laughs> Probably looking for a virgin to sacrifice even now. <laughs> I'll be off the start. <laughs> but, I mean, the funny thing is the van started just like that. Just like you said it would, you know. On the other hand, one is a man of the world, you know, takes it all the pinch of garlic salt. But I mean, <laughs> you know, TLS, heart's desire, sighting letter, you know. Are these tea bags fire damaged stock or something? <laughs> there are more things in heaven and earth than meet the eye, Timothy. I once knew the seventh son of a seventh son. Catholic he was, like his father before him. One day he looked at me in a strange way. Well, people do, people do, don't they? <laughs> was stranger than that. Oh, good heavens. And he said to me in this strange voice, Sidney Lumsden, he said, you'll marry the girl of your dreams. You marry mother. <laughs> well, they can't always be right, can they? <laughs> don't you tell your mother about these three women. She'll just say you dreamt it all. Yes, but I didn't, did I? Look, I mean, they gave me that. Apple, eh? Hmm. Oh, that, Timothy, could well be a talisman. No, I think it's a golden delicious, actually. <laughs> we're not going to... I mean, we're, 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 we're educated men, aren't we? Goodness me, talisman. That's only heart's desire. Exciting letter. Was there anything for me in the post at all? <laughs> well, I didn't see anything. Uh, your mother hides letters sometimes. Uh, try the fridge. Oh. <laughs> oh, see if there's a cheroot of mine in there while you're at it, will you? Right. <laughs> ah, here we are. Yes, letter. And the cheroot. <laughs> Good heaven. What is she doing hiding ice cream in here? <laughs> You'd better steam that letter open and put it back when you've read it. Steam it open. It's my letter. There we are. Ah, thank you. <laughs> ah, nice cool smoke this will be when it thaws out. <laughs> West Yorkshire Travelling Library Service. What can this be? It's marmalade on this letter. <laughs> West Yorkshire Travelling Library Service. Do you know? They want me to go for an interview on Thursday. The Travelling Library, sir. The director of the Travelling Library, sir. There you are, you see. Letter of exciting news. <laughs> That'll teach you to scoff it. <laughs> only an interview, Father. Travelling Library Service. T-L-S. <laughs> this is it. It is the sign. <laughs> Would you believe that Mother opened this envelope and put it back together? Oh, again? come on, Timothy. Your mother doesn't need to go to those lengths. She knows things before they happen. <laughs> it's all going to happen, just as the lady said, you know. I can see it. First the band, now the letter. That's right, of course. Strange world of the occult. Right. Did you know that there was a single stone in the Mexican desert that weighs 3,000 tons? No. What of it? It came from Porth Call. <laughs> Goodness me. That's Timothy. It. Language father. <laughs> You know where that comes from? No. It comes from the old sign for conjuring up the devil. <laughs> Good Lord, it works. <laughs> mother, have you wiped your hooves? <laughs> I have got, Mother, a bone to pick with you. Oh, you got your letter then? Yes, thank you. My point of interest letters do not have to be kept under refrigeration. <laughs> I just put it in a safe place. Safe that's place, all. Mother. I could get salmonella off this. <laughs> Oh, you think you're the bee's pyjamas, don't you? Oh. Well, let me tell you something. 
You are not going to Yorkshire. She's read the letter. She's read the letter. <laughs> Who's she? The cat's mother? You are not going. Anyway, I've never known what people see in the North. Well, I never know what people see in luncheon meat, Mother, but you keep buying it. <laughs> Think of it, Mother. Think of it. Wuthering Heights, Heathcliff, Cathy, the Pennines. It's... I like it. Yes, there we are. Father likes it. Thank you very much. Likes what? Luncheon meat. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to York. I'm going for this interview. It is foretold. It's my house. Sydney, there is a dead bird on the lawn. A what? There is a dead bird on the lawn needing your attention. <laughs> what do you mean? Give it the kiss of life? Well, you had me trying that on the tortoise. <laughs> People next door think I'm a bit strange. I mean, go away and move it. And you can take that cheroot out of your pocket and throw it away on the compost heap. <laughs> I told you, she knows. Uncanny, isn't it? I'll give you a hand. Timothy, sit down. <laughs> Ah, that's much better, just the two of us together. What is this, Mother? Frozen knitting? <laughs> you like me, Goose? Not out of the fridge, Mother. If you eat all that up, I'll make you captain of the Clean Plate Club. <laughs> Come along. I'll start you off with it. <coughs> Wide open for the choo-choo train. <laughs> I'm 41 years old, Mother. If you go to Yorkshire, your father will lose all grip on reality. He'll become a vegetable. Oh, Mother, I don't know. What, I mean, what kind of vegetable? I don't know what kind. A cauliflower or something. <laughs> then who'll look after him? <laughs> Not Muriel. Not your precious sister. <laughs> well, I thought you would, Mother. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in cauliflower. <laughs> I don't think so, Timothy. I went to the doctor myself yesterday with my laryngitis. Laryngitis? I've had it for years, but you've never heard me complain. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, would you, with laryngitis? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst of it. Dr. Franklin gives me 30 years at most. Oh. 30 years, Mother? I'll be 71! <laughs> I mean, I've got to make a break! Who's going to iron your shirts? Who's going to tell you to wash in your tram lines? <laughs> I am going to Yorkshire, Mother. It is my destiny. Destiny? You haven't eaten your noodles. Well, I can't, Mother. They're all in one lump. <laughs> oh, the ingratitude of it all. I bring up a perfect little gentleman and you throw yourself away on the north. It isn't even as if you've got some girl into trouble. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mother. I'll see what I can do for you before Thursday. It's 11 o'clock. At the Randolph Hotel, yes. On Thursday the 19th, yes, yes, that'll be fine, yes. Yes, well, you'll recognize me easily, actually, because I'll be a small man wearing his best suit. <laughs> yes, yes. And, oh, the other thing is cat litter. Um, I, I was this... Wait a minute, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. No, forget that. <laughs> that was on my shopping list. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. You don't, um, and you don't need cat litter in Yorkshire, I should think. <laughs> well, there's plenty of space up there, isn't there, for, you know, a cat to, um, <laughs> swing, a, swing a cat, as it were. I was just, um, oh, sorry, sorry, the pips have gone. Wait a minute. Will you hold on, please? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Hello? Hello? Oh. Sorry, yes, 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 me again. I, um, I'm actually ringing from a call box, you see. Yes, because I don't want the time and place of this interview to be known by certain parties. <laughs> All right? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mother McCree. I... Mr. McCree. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, actually, Mother is the certain party. Yes. And I... Hello? 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 Oh, it's gone. <laughs> well. Well done, little apple. <laughs> Forward together, onward and upward, to strive, to seek, and to find. <laughs> How'd you get out of these places? <laughs> Oh, I do worry about him. 
He works so hard. Is the travelling library hard work? I wouldn't have thought so. Well, it is. There's all that travelling for a start. <laughs> the strain of it all is beginning to tell. Do you know, he's taken to dressing up in his best suit and wandering off. Poor dear. I was wondering if I could count on you in this difficult time, Mrs. Dundridge. Of course you can. If you should see him apparently trying to go somewhere dressed in his best suit, even with his hair coat, you will telephone me at once, won't you? Well, of course I will, you poor thing. I'm so glad. The funny thing is, Muriel, it all turned out, you see, like these three mysterious women said it would. That is it, is it? Yes, that is it. I think a load of tripe I never heard. But it happened, Moo! Oh, my God, what is this? Well, you know, Mother, Thursday's hot pot, incorporating Friday's meatloaf. Why doesn't she ever crack foil over things? What's that cherry doing in it? Slumming it. <laughs> Don't you think I'll get the job, then, you I mean... Not a chance, no. the way you're going about it. Do you know, I threw this coronation tea towel in the dustbin last time. I know. She found it when she was looking for a tea bag we've only used twice. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, not the way I'm going about it? I didn't like that attitude, you know, not the way Look, I'm... Look, you meet three women picking apples, mm -hmm. and you think the gods are on your side. Well, they might be. Might want to change. You really believe in all this magic stuff? Well, I mean, it's only... Yes or well, no? Well, no, obviously. Give no. me that apple. Why, what are you going to do with it? Eat it. No, 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 no. Why not? You mustn't. Oh. Remember Snow White. Will you forget about magic? Forget about all this rubbish? How many interviews for jobs have you been for? Oh, a handful. How many? Twenty-seven. <laughs> Some hand. And what happened? Well, well, the first one, Mother appeared outside as a window cleaner. Do you remember what that? What always happens to I... everything that you try and do. Mother, you mean? Exactly. Yeah. She won't let you go. She's out there now recruiting the Lace Curtain Brigade. How do you think Kevin and I managed when we were courting? Mm. Oh, wonder, yes, I know. <laughs> Kevin looks under the bed even now. <laughs> we had to use every dodge we could think of. Oh, with these eyes close together, I can see him. <laughs> um, but I have got the apple. Never mind that. Bloody apple! Oh. Now listen. I will be here on Thursday morning at 7 o'clock with the car. Yes. You just get yourself out of this house without being seen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> I was in the cubs, you see. <laughs> to be easy, this would be like falling off a log. I've got a badge for that, by the way, falling off a log. Is that the car? It's them. The back. Quick, come on upstairs. Oh, I've got a hideaway. I've got a hideaway in the attic behind the tank. Come on. I'm not going up there in all that dust and muck. Don't be so childish. It is not childish. This my think tank. Come on, up the apples and pears. Timothy, I'm apples. Get... Wait, I've got something I've got to get. Wait a minute, apples. I've just remember. Mother, what have you done? I've had a slightly blue rinse. That's all. No, no, my apple. Which, which one is it? <laughs> did it. <laughs> T. Ellis. Tim leaves successfully. Shh. Will you get down on the floor? There are lace curtains twitching everywhere. What about you? They know you're my sister. Got an aspirin, Miss Pickles. I'm afraid I finished him, Mr. McCree. Here's another one. Come in. Pardon? <laughs> I said, come in. Hello. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't peeping through the keyhole. It's just that I have a bit of a complex about my height and I crouch a lot. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about what? Uh, my interview shoes are squeaking. <laughs> Hadn't you noticed? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> sorry, I hadn't mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, you're not writing that down, right? <laughs> well, you must be Mr. McCree. One of us is, and I'm certainly not. <laughs> Excuse, won't you, my natural high spirits and ebullience, but uh, it's a bit of a major triumph <laughs> that I'm here at home. Oh, sorry. Apple. Sorry about that. Very important. Carry on. Fire away, please. Coffee? Uh, no, Lumsden. <laughs> no, Mr. Lumsden. Uh, yes, Timothy. Tea? Yes, with the tea, that's right. <laughs> Timothy, you look very bright. Very bright, isn't you? You a bit of a joker, Mr. Lumsden. Well, I'm a bit of a wag. <laughs> Not the biggest bit, of course. <laughs> People do say I have a twinkle. <laughs> you have a twinkle at all? I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's catching, you know. I, um... Uh, I got out of the house this morning dressed up as a milkman. <laughs> oh, yes. It's not going very well, is it? Simple answer. Wrong apple. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, please. <laughs> I'd like to come straight to the point, Mr. Lumsden. Oh, very good. Tough, abrasive. Very Michael Parkinson. I'm, uh, very... Oh, thank you very much. Look, won't you sit down? Uh, well, I might. I might do. Who knows? <laughs> oh, sorry, is that an invitation? You mean now? Well, I sit down. I'm not being too smooth, am I? <laughs> no. No, no. Because I am often accused of being a bit of a lounge lizard, you know. <laughs> too cool by half. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Little bit of a walk in the Black Forest. <laughs> Slightly modern reference there. <laughs> I... I don't think these are the right apples, you know. You were recommended to us, Mr. Lumsden, as being a young, thrusting librarian. Thrusting? <laughs> Haven't done a lot of that recently. <laughs> Not in the library, anyway. <laughs> You're not writing that down, are you? No. Well, I'll not beat about the bush, Lumsden. What have you to offer the travelling library service in the West Riding? I was, I was expecting this one. I give it a lot of thought. I'm going to be perfectly frank. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? And it doesn't matter. It does matter. Oh. I don't think we got the right apple. <laughs> Oh, that's a conquer. <laughs> you'll like this. Not a lot, but you'll like it. <laughs> I think we'll not waste each other's time any longer, oh, Mr. Lumsden. Wait a minute, there is one more. This must be the one. Unless Mother ate it. There we are. <laughs> I'm sorry this has not worked out, Mr. Lumsden. If you're still interested, we advertise regularly in the TLS. The TLS? The Times Literary Supplement. <laughs> TLS, that is it. That is the sign. That is my heart's desire. Show Mr. Lumsden out, will you please? No, 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 no. You, you've got to give me the job. What for? Well, it has been foretold. Who by the fairies? What is all this nonsense, Mr. Lumsden? You, you're right, it is nonsense. He's right. It, it, it is, you're right, it's nonsense. Absolute gobbledygook nonsense. Muriel said so, and you said so. It is right. It is up to me. It has always been up to me, and it is up to me. Is that right? That is right. I want this job in the travelling library service because I believe in it. For people who can't get to libraries, old age pensions, people who live in villages, there are no buses anymore. Our vans go to schools, factories, prisons. Good heavens, they've stolen half the books. That shows you how much they value it. <laughs> I want a library service of the people, by the people, for the people. Bring me your poor, your huddled masses. <laughs> You express yourself very forcibly, Mr. Lumsden. Well, I'm, I'm a tourist, you know. A tourist? Yes. I thought so. Uh, Excuse me, Mr. McCree. It's the person you promised oh, to see. Oh, right. Excuse me just a moment, oh, Mr. Lumsden. Certainly, Mr. McThing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quite something. Uh, sorry about that. You're always saying sorry, aren't you? Am I? Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Some people just don't know when they've cracked it. No, I suppose you're right. I know what you... What do you, what do you mean, me? It's bold of 
over with you. Do you think I've passed, you mean? Well, there's a good chance, judging by his attitude. Oh, you mean you... What do you mean, you think I'll be going to Yorkshire? Looks like it. Oh. Another cup of tea? Oh, yes, well... Why not, indeed? It's a right gravely match. <laughs> <laughs> When I get to Yorkshire rapping, I shall have a flat hat, whip it, biggest leech this side of Hickman Week. <laughs> what time are you off, Chuck? <laughs> I can't believe where I'm going. After 41 years, I'm going to get away from my leaky boo. <laughs> it's you. Who's a naughty little Peter Rabbit running away without telling me? Why call by, Mr. Oh, oh, Mr. McGree. This is my mother. Oh, I do apologize. Oh, no. Many people make that mistake. <laughs> how, did you know, how did you know I was here? I rang Yorkshire. It's full of the most helpful people. They told me there's a nice little house goes with this job, so I thought, why not? If you get the job, Timothy, I can come with you to Yorkshire. What? Well, somebody's got to look after you. I'm not having northern persons saying you look like the wreck of the Hesperus. But, but... Well, brass tacks, Mr. Lumsden. I have great pleasure in offering you this post and the house along with it. Oh, thank you. What do you say to that? <laughs> <laughs> you blew it. Well, I couldn't go with Mother. Oh, she wouldn't really have gone. She's done it again, hasn't she? And you let her do it. No, no, she's very disappointed. Oh, yes, she is miserable. Summertime! <laughs> <laughs> Muriel, you're still here. Guess what Mummy's got? The Kim Philby Award for Double Dealing Mummy. <laughs> Don't be silly. Hot milk and chocolate bunnies. There. <laughs> Timothy's lovely supper. Timothy's lovely supper. TLS. Your heart's desire. Ye gods! <laughs> Moo! I blame your father. He spoiled that girl. Oh, come on. Drink up your milk. It's got skin on it. Oh, come here, you silly. Let mummy do it. <laughs> there. You can tell the future from a milk skin. Really? I can see, I can see a beautiful lady in your future. Really? <laughs> a beautiful silver-haired lady. <laughs> You're going to be very happy together. For how long, Mother? Forever. <laughs> and ever and ever. Thank you. Oh.